Hi. I'm Hannah Teacher. My name's Lee Teacher. And today we're going to be doing Think It Science from Santa Orange. That's right, we're looking at science experiment section number one, and the title of today's experiment is Jumping Coin. Jumping Coin is an experiment that uses simple machines. A simple machine is something that we can see in everyday life that helps us do work. That's right. The lever is an example of a simple machine that can help us lift and pull things. Mm. A lever needs two things. It needs a bar and a fulcrum in order to help people lift and pull. That's right. What is an example of a lever that you can think of in everyday life? Mm. A wheelbarrow. Oh, wow, I can think of one too. How about a uh, seesaw? Yeah, that's a great lever. That's right. Oh, here's a picture of a seesaw, Hannah. Oh my goodness, where did you get that? I made it. Wow. Yeah. Can you find the, uh, the fulcrum on this picture, Hannah? Mm. Is it A, B or C? I think it might be A. Bang. Oh, what about B? That's right, the fulcrum is a B. This is the point that allows the bar to move. Okay, so in our experiment today, we need three things to help us create a lever. Yes, today's a very, very, very simple experiment. What do we have here, Hannah? We have a ruler about 30 centimeters. About 30 centimeters. Oh, sorry. Oh, exactly <laughs> 30 centimeters. Excuse That's me. right. What else do we have here? We also need a pencil. That's right. And, oh, and we color, need... Color matters? Well, to me. <laughs> okay. And we need some coins. We chose 500 coins because they're a little heavier and we want the hot coins to go as high as possible. That's right. So, our investigative question today, what is that? Um, it depends on where we drop the coin. So, if we drop the coin in the middle of the ruler or the end of the ruler, what will make the coin go higher? Mm. Do you have a hypothesis now? Mm. My hypothesis is that we need to put the coin that we draw on the very end of the ruler and not around here in order to make this coin jump. Ah, higher. so you think if we drop the coin at the end of the ruler, mm. this one will go higher mm -hmm. than if we drop it in the center of the ruler. Mm, because if we put the coin at the end, it uses the fulcrum even more. Wow. Let's try it out then, Hannah. Okay, let's do it. What's our first step? So, the first step of our experiment is to place the pencil on the table. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, amazing. Very complex. <laughs> what is step two, Hannah? Step two is to put the ruler on the pencil. I'll let you do the one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so one important part of the experiment here. We want to make sure that we put the pencil under the center of the ruler. So this is a 30 centimeter ruler, Hannah. Mm. Where is the center of the ruler? Mm, about 15 centimeters. About 15 centimeters, that's right. And we want to make sure that when you put the ruler on top of the pencil, that it's nice and straight. Not like this, not like this. What about like this? Uh, can you do that? Maybe. I don't think so. So we're going to sit that here like this. And we're going to take our first coin and place it at the end of the ruler like so. Perfect. Yes. It doesn't actually matter exactly where you put it on the end, just as long as every time you drop the coin onto the ruler, and sorry, every time you place the coin on the ruler, it's on the same place. Mm -hmm. Keep it nice. So, after this, we're going to take the coin. Oh, Hannah, can you please measure me for 30 centimeters? Does it matter? Um, it doesn't, but let's be consistent, okay? About, so about a little bit higher than my shoulder. Okay. And what we're going to do first is we're going to aim towards the center of this side of the ruler. So about seven and a half centimeters. Mm, about. Let's see how high it goes. Hannah, can you watch and see how high this coin goes? Yes. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, How that, high was that? Maybe about one or two centimeters. One or two centimeters. Pretty high. high. Can you please write it down for me? <clears throat> yes, I can. Awesome. Now let's try again. We're going to do this five times, okay, guys? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, this is about the same height as last time? Let's check. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, beautiful. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Mmm. How high was that? About the same. About the same. Yeah, one maybe a little seconds. bit lower. Okay. Let's go one more right time. That was the second time, right? That was the second okay, time. Okay, so three more to go. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. About mm. the same again. About the same. About not the same. Very high. Well, it is jumping coin, not flying coin, right? <laughs> okay, oh, not straight. All right, ready? Three, two, one. That was a little bit higher. A little bit higher, yeah. yeah. I think maybe I dropped it wrong. <laughs> oh, we didn't check your height. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, it doesn't matter. That was about four centimeters, that right? <laughs> it's okay to have it outlined. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that was the highest one. That was the highest one. I think yeah. I was a bit off, off the aim again. Uh, so this is the last one, right? Yes. Yes, okay. This is the last one. Three, two, one. Whoa, that was about three, yeah? Mm, yeah, yeah, I think the highest one was the one you were looking at. So we're looking at between, you know, two to four centimeters. Yeah? And this is at when you're dropping the point at the seven and a half centimeters? Yeah, in the center of the rule. So now we're going to repeat this step again, but... This time, we are going to drop the coin at the very edge of the Ooh. Yeah, I'm expecting to miss a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting the coin to go a little higher. So, oh, you think it's going to go I higher? Think I, I think it is, yes. Mm, I think so too. Let's see. You ready? Okay. Let's Do you want to drop it this time? Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> oh, I was at the center. <laughs> This is going, it, that, that one's going straight to the middle of the section. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe you should try it. You're left handed too. I am left handed, yeah. Okay, try again. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. I oh, like that joke about the same. <laughs> okay. I think it was a little bit higher. Oh, okay. Alright, well then you try. It was a little bit higher. My aim is obviously not good. Okay, let's try again on the end. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, oh that definitely went higher. That was definitely higher. You have better aim than I did. That was about, how high do you think that was? That was probably about five centimeters. Five? five? I, think, I think it was about seven. Oh, okay. Let's meet in the let's middle. Let's do it this one. Let's, let's meet in the middle and say six. Oh, yeah. good deal. Okay, life's about compromise. Right? <laughs> Alright, ready? I'm going to imagine this one. Oh, okay, okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I bet the, the strange thing is that we didn't say to use two rules. Two, 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 two. Yeah. Alright, here we go. It's test number two of five. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Ooh, what about that one? It's definitely going a little higher yeah, than, than yeah. the seven centimeters. That was about five centimeters. Right? Mm. Mm. Okay, let's try again. Number three. Just make sure that's nice and straight every time. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Ooh, that, was that was definitely a, high. That was a good one. That was an like eight. Yeah, did you see it landed on it landed back on the ruler too? Beautiful. It's the small things in life, isn't it? <laughs> okay, this is the last one. No, there's two more. Oh, there's two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, nice. So what did you think we're averaging at the moment? I think we're averaging maybe about six centimeters. Yeah, six or seven centimeters. Okay, last one, just to make sure. Ready, three, two, one. I think that one was the highest. That one was the highest, for, yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Okay, so we've recorded all of our heights yes. into the book. Yes. And what is your conclusion, Anna? My conclusion is that my hypothesis was correct. Wow, that's the, always nice. I know. Uh, the farther down we drop the coin, the higher the other coin jumps. Yes, this is because... If we come further down here and apply force, we have more production of force at the other end. Mm. The other way we can show this is by adding something heavier. <gasps> That's exciting. Okay. This could be fun. Ready? Yes. Let's see how high it goes. Ready? Okay. Same height, okay. but this is obviously more heavy than a coin. Mm. Okay, everyone ready? Three, two, one. Wow! wow. Oh. And I think that shows the point even better, Hannah. Yes. I think that was the best one. Mm. I want to drop a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to conclude, mm. 
What simple machine were we looking at today, Hannah? We were looking at a lever. That's right, and a lever consists of? A fulcrum and a bar. That's right. And today, what was our object that we placed onto our lever? A coin. That's right. And we used another what in order to make the coin jump? Another coin. That's right. So guys, hope you had fun watching our video today. Hope you can see levers in your everyday life. And we hope your coins jumped very high. Thank you. Whoa, bye-bye.